Glad you're here, man. Me too. It's good to see you. Yeah. I'm glad you're not invisible. Yeah. Usually I am. You like that? <laughs> Growing up, you would have thought I was invisible. I thought you were going to say that. It would be awkward. <laughs> Just pretty much wandering around tonight, just hanging out and doing our thing. Yep. Uh, found a nice little park bench at a funeral home. Sitting on the park bench, lying like a dead duck. Which I'm not at a funeral home. Yeah. It's really nice though, you see the windows, a very nice it funeral is. home. It is. I don't know what it's called or anything, but it looks very classy. Well, one weird thing that I've noticed too is like, I don't know, graveyards, funeral, they're very peaceful. Yeah, Very peaceful. yeah, which is weird because I never thought yeah. that. Like when we were growing up, like we weren't around a lot of like graveyards or funeral homes. Or Not really. Oh, well, I mean none. But yeah, then none. Uh, <laughs> none. But then like there was a time in Washington. Uh, uh, somebody we had been parked there or something, and somebody had lost something. I was looking around for it, and I was like, "This is actually kind of peaceful." Yeah, I can't remember that. Yeah. 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 And there was like a flagpole, and every now and then, like it would like cling, and it was just like, Ping. this is kind of, I could just lie down here and take a long nap. <laughs> no. I don't know. I wonder if everyone's like that. Does everyone find graveyards peaceful and relaxing? I don't think so. I don't think people do. With how many horror movies are based in them, I seriously doubt it. Of course, maybe. Maybe that's why people, you know, stay for so long. Maybe, true. Yeah. It's like Hold Town, California. You check in, but you never check out. Or just check in. Anyway, I'm really enjoying my time with Gabe. It's cool. Bro time. Let's go somewhere next. Bro time is yo time. Let's go. Off to somewhere else. Gabe and Noel Brown's Funeral Home Venture. The Alaskan Bush People reality TV series, known for documenting the unconventional lives of the Brown family in the remote wilderness, has taken an unexpected turn with two of its members, Gabe and Noel Brown, venturing into a funeral home business. This report delves into the details of Gabe and Noah's funeral home endeavor, exploring the motivations behind this unique career choice and the challenges and opportunities they face in this unexpected venture. Gabe and Noah Brown, born on December 15, 1989 and July 18, 1992, respectively, are two of the seven children of Billy and Amy Brown. Growing up in the Alaskan wilderness, they became fan favorites on the Alaskan Bush People series for their unique personalities and contributions to the family's off-the-grid lifestyle. In a surprising departure from their accustomed lifestyle in the Alaskan wilderness, Gabe and Noah Brown have entered the funeral home business. This unconventional career move has intrigued fans, sparking discussions about the reasons behind their decision and the challenges associated with running a funeral home particularly in the context of the Brown family's unique background. The decision by Gabe and Noah to enter the funeral home business stems from various motivations. One significant factor may be their desire to diversify their skills and explore new avenues beyond the confines of the Alaskan wilderness. The funeral home venture represents a departure from their accustomed roles showcasing their adaptability and willingness to embrace unconventional career paths. Another motivation could be a sense of duty and service to their community. Funeral homes play a crucial role in providing support and guidance to grieving families during difficult times. Gabe and Noah's decision to enter this profession might be driven by a genuine desire to assist their community members during the challenging process of saying goodbye to loved ones. Operating a funeral home comes with its unique set of challenges and opportunities. The Brown brothers, having spent the majority of their lives in the wilderness, might face a learning curve as they navigate the intricacies of the funeral service industry. This includes understanding legal requirements, managing funeral arrangements, and providing compassionate support to grieving families. However, the funeral home venture also presents opportunities for Gabe and Noah to bring their distinctive perspectives and skills to the business. Their experiences in carpentry, survival, and adaptability, honed in the Alaskan wilderness, could potentially set their funeral home apart. Creating a unique and personalized approach to funeral services might become a hallmark of their business, 
resonating with their commitment to a non-traditional lifestyle. The Alaskan Bush People community and fans are likely watching closely to see how Gabe and No's funeral home venture unfolds. The reception within their community is crucial, as the Browns have often emphasized the importance of being self-sufficient and contributing to the well-being of those around them. The impact of their funeral home business on the local community could be substantial, providing a valuable service while simultaneously challenging stereotypes about the family's capabilities. Gabe and Nose Foray into the funeral home business represents a unique expansion of the Alaskan Bush people legacy. The family has been known for their resilience, adaptability, and ability to thrive in unconventional circumstances. This venture adds another layer to their story, demonstrating their willingness to embrace new challenges and contribute to society in unexpected ways. The Browns' journey in the funeral service industry is likely to be documented in future Alaskan Bush People episodes, providing viewers with an inside look at how the family navigates this distinct career path, the impact of their funeral home venture on the family dynamics, and their interactions with the broader Alaskan community will be intriguing to follow. Gabe and Noah Brown's venture into the funeral home business marks a significant departure from the Alaskan wilderness lifestyle portrayed in the Alaskan Bush People series. Their decision to enter this unique profession reflects a combination of personal motivations, a desire for community service, and a willingness to explore unconventional career paths. As the brothers navigate the challenges and opportunities of the funeral service industry, their journey becomes an intriguing chapter in the evolving narrative of the Brown family. Fans and viewers alike await the unfolding of this unexpected venture, eager to witness how Gabe and No's funeral home endeavor contributes to both the Alaskan Bush people legacy and the communities they aim to serve. Thanks for watching my video.